Hello and welcome to So I Married an Iranian, Lesson 7, Part 2. My name is Layla and I'm your teacher for the course. My name is Chris, I'm Layla's husband, and I'm learning Farsi and the Persian culture, and you can learn along with me. So in the last lesson, we learned, learned about how to talk about your job, what you do. Hopefully you had some time to go through those vocabulary lessons and have them down for this time. Um, and today we are going to learn how to talk about where you work. So what kind of place you work in. So let's jump right into it. First, the word for work, as we learned last week, is just car. Car. And in the Persian language, Kar, kar kardan is the infinitive to work, and you can see it is a compound verb, meaning it's two words together that forms to work. So, kar kardan literally translates to doing work. Kar kardan. Kar kardan. Right. So we need to uh, use that verb for asking, or for talking about where we work. So. To say I work, like currently work, it's kar mikonam. Kar mikonam. Exactly. So I work, kar mikonam. So now, where do you work? The word for in is dar. Dar. And uh, you could work at any type of place, but I bet 95% of us work in an office. I know that. Architects work in offices, accountants work in offices. It's sort of the place that work gets done. The, the it's office. office. Exactly. So the word for office in Persian is edare. Edare. Exactly. So in an office would be dar edare. Dar edare. Dar. Dar. Edare. Edare. Okay, so to say I work... In an office, you say, Dar edare kar mikonam. Dar edare kar mikonam. Exactly. So did you get that whole thing? I did. I was thinking about each one as I went through it. And there's a lot of words there. Well, there's just a lot of words there, but a lot of them end with the R, which I've said before is is a difficult one for me because it's it's often a very soft R that... um, is more of a nuanced um, sound than what I usually make. Exactly, yeah. So it's a little tricky of a sentence, but let's practice it again. Dar edare kar mikonam. Dar edare kar mikonam. Exactly. So most people work in an edare, but there are a few other professions that we learned last time that don't necessarily work in an edare. For example, a doctor, which remember what that is? Doctor. <laughs> yes. So a doctor works in a hospital sometimes. And the word for hospital is be modest on. Be modest on. Exactly. So estan is a word for a place. So you hear this a lot in the Persian language. Like Afghanistan is a place where Afghans are. Or like Tajikistan is a place where Tajiks are. And these are both, you know, Persian words. And bimaristan, bimar is the word for someone who's sick. So a bimaristan is a place where sick people are. So Bimaristan. Exactly. I did not know that that's what estan meant. Yeah. So then you can say, I work in, an, uh, in a hospital. You say, dar bimaristan kar mikonam. Dar be modest on kar mikonam. Exactly, except for the word kar is pronounced kar. You. Kar. Yes. Um, or we also learned an oshpaz. Remember what that was? Oshpaz is a soup cooker. <laughs> a cook, exactly. So then um, you, an oshpaz often works in a restaurant. And the word for restaurant in the Persian language is Restaurant. <laughs> I feel like maybe you got that word from some some other culture, or maybe we got it from exactly restaurant. Yeah, another French word. So is that how you say it? Yes, restaurant. Restaurant. Yes, and Chris often makes fun of me with when I'm talking to our son. He says you're just pronouncing English words in a funny way. 
Like That's a right. helicopter <laughs> is a helicopter. Helicopter, yes. But it's because we have the same words but pronounced differently. So that's what I do when I'm speaking to our son in person. Okay, but a smoothie? <laughs> a smoothie. That's just, it's a smoothie. It's I, smooth, so it's a smoothie. We will get into it now. There's a discussion for later. This is Persian culture. <laughs> so, dar restaurant kar mikonam. Dar restaurant kar 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 mikonam. Perfect. Because I'm a uh, something pass. Osh pass. Osh pass. Exactly. Osh pass has them. Osh pass has them. Yeah, that's a good thing to do to start combining them. Oshpaz hastam. Dar restauran kar mikonam. Oshpaz hastam. Dar um restauran kar mikonam. Great. There were a few little mispronunciations <laughs> there, but he's understanding it, and he'll practice throughout the week using all of our bonus materials on the website. I'm going to make can, soup all week. Yes, and you can listen to each of those words individually and practice them. We'll have kar mikonam, kar mikonam. Play it, listen, say it out loud. Put it on when you're going for a run <laughs> or on your bike and just like listen to it on repeat. Um, mm-hmm. And then say it out loud. It's very important to practice. I uh, personally, I, I have it easy because um, I live in a multilingual family, so I hear and attempt to practice these words frequently. Yes. But even if you don't have a ready resource like that available, just say the word. Yes. So now the last thing that we are going to talk about is how to say if you like your job. And this uh, this vocab will come into great use later as well, just to ask if you like things. Um, so the way you say your job is kareto. 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 Remember, to is the word for you. Right. So your job, kareto. So then to ask, do you like your job? The word dust is the word for mm-hmm. like. Dust. Dust. And then to say the full sentence, you say, Kare tu dust dari. Kare tu dust dari. Exactly. And um, dari is to have. So do you have a liking for your work is the mm. literal translation. Kare tu dust dari. Kare tu dust dari. And uh, remember last week we learned the words for yes and no. No is na. Yes, formal is bale. And an informal ya is are. Are. So let me ask you, Chris. Kare to do study. Are. <laughs> Great. And then you can ask me uh, a very simple way you can say what about you is to chetor. To chetor. Right. And that just means what about you? So I'll ask you and then you ask you to chetor. So Chris, kare to do study. Are. Uh, to chetor. To chetor. Are? Karamu dustaram. And chetor, uh, that sounds like chetori. How are you? Yeah. How does that relate? So it's, all, it's the same thing. How about you? Okay. So how are you versus how about you? Okay. To chetor. Chetori is how are you? Chetori. To chetor. Okay. So to chetor is... How about you? How about you? What about you? Exactly. So then, and to answer in a full sentence, I say, so kare to is your job, and then my job is karam. Karam. So I'll say karamu dustaram. Kare. Karamu. Karamu dust daram. Exactly. So we're just conjugating it differently. So dustari okay. is you like, and dustaram is I like. I see. That's yeah, yeah. what kind of threw me. Right. Dustari versus dustaram. Exactly. And we keep looking at these PDF guides. <laughs> Very helpful. You can get them on the internet at Chai and Conversation. Yes. So you can say dustaram, karamu dustaram. 
کارم رو دوست دارم. And that means I like my job. And if you want to say I don't like my job, you say کارم رو دوست ندارم. ندارم. کارم رو دوست ندارم. Exactly. But hopefully no one needs to answer this way because we're all doing things that we really love to do. Everybody should like their job. <laughs> that's that's. That's right. That's what we're. Feels feels weird saying that. <laughs> and then the last thing we're going to cover is uh, we have been talking about jobs, but then what if you don't have a job right now? Um, that is very, very possible too. So you can just talk about whether or not you work in general. Uh, so I work is kar mikonam. Kar mikonam. Exactly. And I don't work kar nemikonam. Kar nemikonam. Exactly. So kar mikonam versus kar nemikonam. And to say I'm jobless is bikaram. Bikaram. Exactly. So bikar is the word for without work. So, bikar. Yeah. So I am without work. Bikaram. Bikaram. And lastly, we're going to cover if you're retired, which sounds really nice. And the word for retired is boz nishaste. Boz nishaste. So you say boz nishaste hastam. Boz nishaste hastam. Exactly. And it's funny teaching the Persian language because all these words that you know uh, just offhand, you realize are just combinations of, of different words and they, they have a meaning to them. Boz nishaste means I am again sitting. <laughs> 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 I am again sitting. Yes, yeah, so nishastan is to sit. So it's saying boz nishasta hastam. I'm I'm again I'm back to sitting. <laughs> I was a soup cooker, but now I'm back to sitting. Exactly. Boz nishasta hastam. Okay. Yeah. So that is a lot of vocabulary for this lesson. Uh, we split up lesson seven into two parts. You can listen to the podcast, have all of it together. That's right. And now uh, say all those words 10 times out loud. Then what are you doing? Get back to work. You can't be sitting here watching videos. There's things to do. That's right. And we'll be back next week with lesson eight with another exciting lesson on That's this. Right. So I married an Iranian series. Thank you for watching. Go cook some soup. <laughs>